Hey, what is up? What is going on? Arvind Ram Krishna here, and today we're going to be talking about some sweet-looking cross-hatching as I draw this very cool-looking Ferrari sketch using Krita, which is my choice software, free software for digital sketching, painting, and just being creative. So, how do you like that? Anyway, let's get down. I'm just going to tell you, this is really funny. You guys probably don't even know I'm in the most unlikely place right now when I'm sketching this. But um, when I recorded this, I did this back in June. And I'm only posting it now. But I was actually just outside getting ready to, to look at the fireworks. And I was there with my family and some company. And I was completely ignoring them as I had my sketch. It was as I was having my uh, Fujitsu T902 uh, computer with me. And I just sat there just sketching, just sketching all night right up till the fireworks came in. And so it was really pretty, it was really a lot of fun, I got to tell you. And so here I am, I, I, that's basically what I was doing. I was just sitting out there and it, it was just a gorgeous night. And we had, uh, every year we have the phenomenal fireworks display uh, close to our house and we uh, gather around on the golf course and we sit around and we uh, have some drinks, you know, just uh, some wine and just relaxing and the kids are out there playing with their light sticks and their frisbees and throwing things around and uh, I take a break and go out there and play with them, come back, sketch a little bit more. And it's just a lot of fun. So that's kind of the backdrop of, of how I started to, to sketch outside. Because it's, it's so incredibly portable to have this uh, Fujitsu uh, life book here with me. All right. So we are getting here. This is really only about cross hatching and shading in general. So that's all I'm going to be discussing. I'm not really going to get into anything like uh, the perspective or anything like that or any kind of details because that's not what this is about but sometimes people when you start to sketch uh, especially if you're not going through a rendering is to to give your sketches really nice a line quality and a sort of uh, dynamism that can be created by just cross hatching and obviously when you're cross hatching and you're shading it, you're you're trying to identify value and form, and and by doing that, you have to kind of work quick. All these, this video in particular, is all sped up, so I know that I'm not drawing this fast. Uh, it's I think it's it's like 400%, so it's really crazy fast. And I think this sketch probably took me probably about a half hour from start to finish. So it wasn't really that long, but. Uh, we shortened this whole thing down to like six minutes in this video. So notice that when I start to sketch or when I start to crosshatch, I usually start to crosshatch diagonally and then I start to, to use uh, parallel lines. So I try to sketch and hatch in the same direction as I'm drawing. Or I'm I, same direction uh, in each one of these areas of my drawing. So notice here on this front quarter panel here, I'm again more or less drawing in the same angle. And then I just start to increase the value. All right, so we have a, a couple more minutes here as I wrap up and continue on the sketch. I'm just going to go one section uh, at a time. And what I'm going to do is continue on with the parallelism here as I'm hatching in one direction and then I'll start to darken up my lines here to give it a little bit more line weight and then I'll emphasize certain character lines and curves and and then I've got the the shadow here underneath the car which I'll try to pop out a little bit And go here on the other side and that's it I mean this is really all, all you have to do when you start to, to cross hatch it looks uh, a little bit more difficult I mean it looks kind of easy but just getting that consistency and 
your muscle coordination takes a little bit of time and effort. So obviously, even if you cross hatch a bad drawing, the whole drawing is going to suck. <laughs> so, so this is this is really kind of a, a technique uh, type of video here, just to that. I'm hoping that you know a little bit about, uh, have some foundation in uh, perspective drawing and that sort of thing. And then as you start to shade, you can kind of use some of these techniques. I'm going to go in one direction and go back to the other one for the grill. Whoops. Add a little bit of shadow. And that's about it. So I'll emphasize the wheel. Just make sure I've got everything else kind of correct. So I hope you enjoyed this particular video. And we will see you here next time on Driven to Draw. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And if you have any questions, just comment below. And I'll uh, be sure to answer whatever I can. Have a good one.